Would you like to see your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? If so, email us. Please send us pictures, videos, or any other information you want included. You guys are the ones with the best stories, so sharing them with us will make the news way more interesting. Seniors, listen up for real this time. There's a one-time deal for the senior all-night party going on. Get four free raffle tickets for purchasing your ticket before December 16th. There is also a $15 discount for buying your ticket early. There are three ways you can pay, Venmo, check, or cash. For Venmo, Venmo at Novi SANP-2023. Send checks to Nova High School SANP. And please include student name and parent email address. To pay by cash, contact Aaron Murphy Patrick at gmail.com. Hey, Nova High School. The IB cohort is putting on a Unity in the Community volunteering event where Novi students can go out and volunteer at local organizations on MLK Day 2023. Some of the organizations we have are Manoogian Manor Senior Living, Task Community Social Services, Police and Thank You, and so many more. Each opportunity occurs at a different time, so you can volunteer at your own convenience. We hope you join us in our mission to spread unity throughout our community. Scan the QR code to sign up. Free feel free to contact Mr. Capuano or DM no at Novi Ivy Cohort on Instagram with any questions. Thank you! This Thursday, on December 1st, the Student Mental Health Committee is hosting a Yellow Out Day to promote positivity and raise awareness for seasonal depression. Please wear yellow to receive candy with positivity notes during all lunches. You can also look forward to picking up brochures on tables during lunches with information regarding seasonal depression and tools to help with the symptoms. We look forward to seeing everyone in yellow this Thursday. What's up, Novi? It's your boy, John Barron, your official ski reporter. Skiing season is back with practice having started two weeks ago. Their first race is on January 10th, so make sure to hype yourselves up for the next month and a half. Hi, I'm Clara. And I'm Lindsay, and we'll be covering competitive cheer this season. Their first competition will be the Competitive Cheer Coaches Association of Michigan competition on December 10th. Wish them luck. Hi, my name is Eileen and I'll be reporting on Novi Palm this winter. The Novi Palm Invitational will be taking place in January at the high school. You will be able to showcase your palm routine and receive critiques from judges. You can register by going to the link on screen. Registration ends by December 14. Hey Novi, I'm Animesh and I'll be covering the boys swim and dive team this winter. Their practices started last week with their first meet this Saturday and their first dual meet next week. I'll see you later, Wildcats. What's up, Wildcats? I'm here with Coach Halsey. Uh, he's obviously the coach of the basketball team. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, so how do you think the team's looking this year? Um, we're doing, coming along okay. We, uh, we have a lot of guys coming back um, from last year's team. So we have some experience to bank on, as well as some guys coming up from JV who can help us out. So we're excited, and uh, I think we're getting we're getting ready to go slowly but surely. Nice. So what are you guys' strengths? Do you think um, we have a lot of a lot more size this year um, than last year, which is good. I think uh, experience is our strength as well with our returning guys. We have three guys actually who have been on the varsity. This will be their third year on varsity, um, so that's huge for us. Um, and uh, our speed overall, our speed and athleticism, I think are, um, are our strengths as well. And what about areas of improvement? Yeah, we can definitely um, make more shots. I mean, that would be helpful. Um, we can definitely um, play some better D and be a little more fundamentally sound in our defense and our rotations and our um, overall defensive structure. But uh, again, the boys are working hard and we're gonna fix that stuff by the time uh, games begin. Uh, we're coming along great. I'm really happy with the effort of the boys have put in so far, and uh, I think we're getting ready for next Tuesday. Nice. Well, I'm excited for the game and for the season. I think we all are, so thank Good. you for your time. Right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate See you later, it. Wildcats. You may have been watching at home, you may have seen it on social media, or even been watching in class. Of course, we're talking about the 2022 Qatar World Cup. Organized by FIFA, the tournament held every four years has been going on since the 1930s when the first game was played in Uruguay. Due to the extreme heat in Qatar, the games have been held in November and December for the first time in history, giving us something to watch during the holiday season. We asked Novi students and staff if they've been following the World Cup. 
Brazil. <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> um, I would say Brazil. Obviously the US. And who do you think is actually gonna win? I would say the US, but probably <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> who do you think is gonna win the World Cup? Me. I mean, uh, Team USA, of course. <laughs> Tragically, I do not think the USA will win. Um, I, in my bracket, I picked Brazil. It's been Sky, Sherry, and Brooke, and we'll see you next time on your Novi FIFA News.